Hi everybody, welcome to the War Memorial in Woola. We're here at the start and the finish of the McWilliams round and I've got a special surprise. We're here with the creator and host of this event, Mr. Glenn McWilliams. Hi Glenn. We're going to do a quick interview just to let you know a bit more about it. Firstly Glenn, a little bit of history about the McWilliams round. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, well, my son and I have always run and achieved at Hills. We've had a great passion for the Hills. So we thought, why not create a challenge route up here? Um, two main reasons why it was created. Uh, firstly, undoubtedly, there was a book brought out by Richard Asquith, Pete in the Clouds, um, and it described a challenge route in the lakes, which I thought was really inspirational. But then secondly, uh, my wife and I have a small family business on Wooler High Street, and we just thought, you know, the financial benefits of bringing people to the area, right. like the Bob Graham round, people would go and recreate, stay, you know, hopefully the local economy would benefit. So there was two reasons, the desire to get out there, the inspiration, and hopefully to bring something to Wooler. So that was the main driving force behind it. And can you tell people a little bit more about what they can expect? All right, yes. Um, well, we're very fortunate, was it? The big national trail route goes through the centre of Wooler. It's called the St Cuthbert's Way. So we didn't want a route that was very difficult to navigate. We wanted people to see the, what the area can offer, the best views, but fairly easy, fairly easy to navigate. So we thought we'll take a big chunk of that St Cuthbert's Way. So from here, uh, this is the start, as you've described. We we'll go 12 miles north on the St Cuthbert's Way um, and then it naturally meets the Pennine Way. We thought, well, that will take us to the highest point of uh, Northumberland. So it's 12 miles from here, 8 miles on the Pennine Way, so you finish them two sections on Cheviot. And uh, my son and I, who was a co-creator, we just thought, how can we get people back to Wooler? There's a a local fell race which has existed for about 60 years, so we thought, well, naturally, we'll come in on that, on the, uh, the second half of that, which is down Chibi, up Hedgeham, uh, following the route back to the left, which is a further 12 miles. And is, the hardest bit. I was going to say, which is a popular, we call that the graveyard of, <laughs> of the, the round attempts, because we'll get a lot of people get to that stage. There's not a great deal of access to water. On the certainly on the Pennine Way, we filled it with a stream. Yeah, you should you should be all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very re remote. A lot of the challenges take place sensibly in the summer, um, so which is good because they see the best of the conditions. But they are, there's a certain element we like to do it even harder, do it in the winter. And finally, how can people get in touch with you if they want to register for this? Yeah, we've created one. My son has. He's done a great job with a Facebook page. We are hoping, hopefully, in the future to create a website. Um, I'll put links uh, under my YouTube video to all of the, the relevant oh, information people will need. Yeah. Facebook, we like it because we keep people updated. People send supportive comments on, which is great. We'll let people know who's having a go, who's had a go. Um, we keep a personal record of the dates, the times. There's three time brackets if I can mention. We wanted to be very inclusive for and include everybody. Um, so the three time brackets are, for the faster ones, it's anything under seven hours, although there's a growing group going under six hours now. Uh, they get a gold certificate. Uh, anybody under eight hours gets a silver. And the majority of us, anybody that gets eight hours and above that, anything above that, gets a bronze certificate, so everybody gets something. Great. Right, well, uh, here's the video of my attempt. Hope you enjoy it, and good luck to anybody that's going to give this a go. Right, here we go. We're about to start the Matt Williams round. It's a 32 mile loop. Short one. Of the Cheviots. Yeah, yeah this short. is the short one. There's a long version as well. So, uh, we'll be updating it as we go along. Right, we've done the first three mile. We're just climbing out of Walla now. Uh, we've got Humbleton Hill on the right. And we're on the St Cuthbert's Way now. Bit of a tricky start. 
if you're doing this for the first time uh, I'm gonna post the link to the GPX file I've got under this video so in the distance there we've got the flat top of Cheviot and over to the left we've got hedge up so we're gonna have to get across both of those today but uh, we off in the distance right we're at seven and a half miles now we've been met by Gary Wales who's behind me say hello Gary hey. <laughs> Gary's gonna guide us through a tricky bit people get notoriously wrong so thanks to Gary for that mile 12 no idea where I am just entered into Scotland I presume this is what's known as the Border Ridge. That's where we're heading. On a nice downward section of this Border Ridge, heading up towards Cheviot. We're coming up to about 30 miles. Last thing I expected to see up here, but there you go. Just so you know, the climb up the border ridge is absolutely endless. Totally brutal. Pretty high up my dear me. It just never ends. On my left now, I've got Hen Hole, going up the sort of what I would describe as the back of Chivy. Um We are currently at mile 17, so I think there are three miles to the top of Chivy until we get to mile 20. of achieve you done Good review well Hedge Up Hill has just jumped in the view that's the first time we've seen that today we've got to get up that next we're coming up on mile 20 now we're in the sort of top plateau bit of Cheviot uh, I hadn't climbed up this way before. Uh, it's fairly, it's fairly brutal. I'm not gonna lie, but this bit's nice, nice and flat. Right, we've just come to the top. TV Summit. Thank God for that. Now it's downhill. So now we've dropped off TV and we're coming down a no path section. And now we're going to climb a hedge up hill, which doesn't really have a path up it either. Happy days. That's where we've just come down and now we've got to go up this track to the top of Hedge Uphill. Nearly at the top of Hedge Up now. This fence goes down to Coombe Fell. A bit of a range between Cheviot and Hedge Up. Uh, you don't do that one on, on this run. Ah, so tired. We are up to mile 22. 
Nein, ich gucke. Ja, ich gucke. Top of Hedgehog Hill. That's the biggest hill. Or the last biggest hill out the way now. Ah. Here's Cheviot. We're going down here into Walla. This has got to be the best view in Northumberland, I think. Totally unspoiled. Going off Hedgehog Hill. Very steep climb down. So you just get this huge view in front of you for miles. And it's a gorgeous day so you can see far. Just past Housey Crags, Langley Crags, I'm on this nice path and I just happen to know that I've got some drone footage of this path, so here it is. Well, we've been out so long, the sun's started to go down. We're now in a place called Kerry Burn, and I think we've got about two miles left to Wooler. Ah. Well, we're coming to Wooler now. At mile 34, we've gone a bit lost somewhere. Don't know where, but we've added an extra couple of miles. Well. We've done it! Woo! I think we've got one. 34 miles, these random people are just popping us in. Hello, random people! Come on. Damn it. Here we go. Last fish. 